This is going to be one of the few party line votes that we've had. City councils made up of six Republicans and three Democrats. And that's how it could split on whether or not city employees and their unions can continue collective bargaining. Mayor Henry has said he supports keeping unions and collective bargaining. Are you saying you would veto something if it's going to eliminate that? Yes, sir. I think you will find that Democratic council members will, will stay with the mayor on this. A mayor's veto can be overturned with six votes. But in this case, Councilman John Crawford, who introduced all three ordinances in question, isn't sure if he can count on all his fellow Republicans for those six votes. Whether somebody thinks they're going to do something now and then changes their mind or the other way around, you just don't know the end. But if the scenario does play out, there's obviously going to be pressure on some Republican members to uh, vote to sustain the veto. Even if there is a veto and it's upheld, Republicans say this effort is far from pointless. Win, lose, or draw. I see no reason why city taxpayers should pay the union president of the PBA full-time salary, benefits, and a take-home part to only do union work. No police work. Why do the taxpayers pay that? Even if we lose the vote, these things, there's now a spotlight on them. Sometimes sometime you lose, but you win.